Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is Sanaya and or Simnaya here on YouTube and we are back for the long awaited first episode of my new Let's Play, Young. So, I don't know when it happened or why it happened, but I'm making videos every two weeks and I'm gonna try to get back on a one week schedule, but alas. And I'm always stuffed up. Somehow I'm stuffed up again. So I'm gonna try my best to not sniffle in this mic but it's been too long and the video had to happen. So we are here with Lola in the morning. So I've done um, at least two or one kind of like precursor to this video um, introduction to meet the characters. So I'm not gonna get too much into the long talking about who Lola is because if you wanna figure that out, go watch the other video I made about her. But yeah, we're with Lola in the morning and she's currently making a screwdriver. So it is like extra early in the morning, but you know, screwdrivers are that one of those alcohols, they, uh, is it just a mimosa? But it's one of those alcohols that, you know, people make um, during brunch or breakfast. So she's like, why not? Now, some people may say this be a little bit alcoholic of her um, to have a an alcoholic beverage at, um, 6 a.m. but who cares we're living fast dying young and then we're also gonna have her make a little breakfast so where's my fridge oh my goodness okay quick fix i did not realize i did not put a fridge in this at all she's gonna have breakfast but yeah so we're with lola at her apartment in san Myshuno. And I'll give you guys a quick tour in a second. So I don't know if you guys recall from that video, I said that Lola had over uh, indulged on an apartment uh, that she had bought with her old roommate. And uh, it's a really nice apartment and she just doesn't like, if you can see, she just doesn't have the money for this apartment, um, including that her uh, ex best friend, her old roommate has moved out. So she, uh, now lives here with her new roommate who moved in not that long ago and they only kind of know each other so while she makes breakfast i'll give you guys a little tour okay so we are in a medina studios apartment i'm pretty sure over in the arts quarter arts center area of san maishuno um this is the front door that looks like every other front door so when you first come in you have the world's smallest little entryway and there's not much i got kind of lazy with my decorating at this point because i did this last but it's just like a rug and the thermostats around the corner now for the living room slash bar area it's a pretty open layout for this house at least for the main area so trying to get individual shots of them is pretty annoying to try and do so to the left we have their like entertaining living room space which is just the couch and the tv that's mounted on the wall and then right behind that there is the bar area so lola and her friends definitely like to party like to drink lola by herself a lot so they did uh splurge on this little bar set up with the wine racks and then behind it there is a bathroom that's a half bath going into the kitchen slash dining area so for their dining area it's just the six person table in this middle uh area that has like i think has a good in my opinion view of the city so i want it to be in an area with um lots of windows and i honestly never know what to do with this corner but i think it was a good fit for it and then i kind of strung these lights um in different ways so this is a definitely a cc piece that these are all individual lights and i thought it looked too empty so i wanted something that hung but honestly to my opinion it still looks a little empty but i didn't want to over clutter then we're going into the kitchen area we were just in with lola who's making herself some breakfast pretty simple didn't have a fridge before now it does but if you round the corner there's also a pantry that's super small um, but I have a coffee maker inside of there because I like all my rooms, no matter how much, how small they are, to be functional in some way. Just a quick shot of where the pantry is. You can see into it. I made it a glass door. But like for me to get a good angle of it um, from this view and not like top down is nearly impossible. Then from the living room, you have her little stereo on the, uh, the left. So she's a big music person. And then it goes straight into the hallway. Um, and then the hallway leads into the individual bedrooms and there's like little nooks I made because if not, the hallway was a bit too wide and still too small for a room. So this is a little laundry nook. Um, yep, little laundry nook and next to it, next to it is this little book nook. And um, once again, I wanted to make good use of the big windows in this apartment. So it has a nice view overlooking the city. Um, and I think this is probably my favorite part of the apartment. 
because if as a book lover myself, I think this would be like where I'd hung out most in the entire house. <laughs> this is the master bedroom, aka Lola's room, which actually used to be her roommate's room because her roommate was the one who paid for everything or the majority of everything. So, um, but Lola, once her roommate moved out, kind of moved in and established like dominance <laughs> before her new roommate came in, who we'll meet in a second. And honestly, her new roommate pays for most of everything as well. So, in all reality, she should be in here, but whatever. So we have like Lola's little makeup station, her computer desk, her wardrobe, and her and her bed. And to the left is the her like a uh, attached like ensuite bathroom, which once again don't feel like trying to get a good angle of, but it looks nice. Okay. And then this is her roommate's room, June. And as you can see, because this, Lola, this house was decorated by Lola and her friend, mainly it's a lot of dark colors, but June is um, a bit brighter than that. So her room is probably the brightest room in the house along with her um, bathroom. June is big into void critters. So she has a void critter themed bathroom, which is also attached um, to her room. Okay, to turn all the lights on, this is a top-down view of the apartment. So the rooms I didn't show you in your top left, you have the half bath behind the bar, the guest bedroom, which has nothing but an air mattress in there, as well as uh, June and Lola's like attached bathrooms as well. So yeah, this is my little apartment. Well, not really little, but my little apartment for them. So we'll move back over to what Lola's doing. Let her finish and pause the game so she can finish making her breakfast. And um, we'll go over some of Lola's traits and stuff while we're sitting here i said i wasn't gonna pause it again let me try not to resist the urge to pause it so once again lola is jealous non-committal and romantic these are the treat the traits that i automatically oh. picked and whatever she develops throughout the story will i'll see if it feels correct she does not want children right now she prefers non-exclusive relationships um she also got dastardly from her aspiration and then from the other mods that i have in the game she has the lover uh major impression personality as well as the sinister minor impression personality and just to go hold on let me get an angle just to get over them a little bit so lovers um crave intimacy live to experience pleasure and are very passionate nonetheless they Why? with their desire to evoke love in others they risk losing their own identity and appear shallow which i think is so perfect for the character that Lola is and then Sinister. Um, Sinister Sims are always up to no good trying to achieve their goals no matter the consequences and I think for Lola she just doesn't think of consequences and so I also think it's very fitting for her. There's no really milestones then because honestly I just loaded up the game and then she's in love with Lauren Devlin so we'll get into the other people in this in the story in a little bit um, and then her conversation topic she likes stories and she dis and she likes pessimistic sims. So I think that's it for her. And then she has the villainous Valentine aspiration. So with, with how I think the story might be going, I think we can actually possibly complete this. But I also have never used it. So the villainous Valentine um, aspiration is only this level. So you're supposed to get caught cheating 10 times, achieve ecstasy with other Sims, at least five, and break up couples, 10 of them. So I feel like that's a bit extreme for Lola herself as well. But we'll see how far we get in it because I think compared to anything else, this is what she might be on. And then this sim right here is Lola's new room roommate, June. So June um, is from a kind of sheltered environment and she wanted to move to the city while she was in school and her parents only really agreed to it if she lived with someone else because they don't fully trust her to be able to be uh, competent and, you know, I don't know what's the word for it she'll be able to do it on her own you know they don't believe that she has the power to take care of herself and honestly june just kind of wanted to be out at their house and so her parents are giving her the bulk of the rent money that is needed to be here um because she personally doesn't work because she's going to university but her parents are basically handling all of it and they haven't met lola yet um and what they did see of Lola, Lola looked nothing at look how, like how she does now. And they pictured her to be too, like another fun, loving, easygoing, sweet high school, not high school, um, college student. 
who honestly is um, will be a good influence on their daughter. She is not. I don't know if she will be a good influence or bad influence on June. June, to me, seems pretty like she doesn't. She has her own personality and her own wants, and she's pretty kind of stuck and stubborn in them. Um, so June's uh, traits are she's lazy, she's unflirty, she hates children, um, prefers non-exclusive relationships. So this was auto-generated and I didn't change it because June is actually asexual. So I don't see her really partaking in many relationships for, I don't know. Let's see what she does. Let's see what the Sim does for me. But she is asexual. So basically relationships are not on her mind right now at all. So um, she just kind of wants to focus on school. And so she has the, she doesn't want a child right now. She has the muser uh, aspiration she gets better boosts when to their skills when they're inspired. And she has the every man personality. Every man wants just want to belong and feel like a part of something. They lack distinctive identity and rarely stand out, which I feel like is very correct for her. She's very go, go with the flow, doesn't ask many questions, kind of sticks to her only. So she has the musical genius aspiration. And she's attending Foxbury um, for a fine art degree. And um, we'll be doing that with her because I kind of want to play with a little uh, college stuff as well. But yeah, so I don't know how their relationship will pan out in terms of relationship with bars. They only kind of know each other. And I haven't fully filled up the relationship except for the ones that I deemed necessary. And I kind of wanted to experience the rest of them making relationships with you guys. So she knows Lola and then she knows Sasha in the city so far. And um, Sasha is a part of Lola's friend group, but she knows Sasha because they major in the same thing at Foxbury. And then for Lola's relationships, the ones I have so far are June, Lauren, Annabelle, and Marlise. So Marlise is her ex-best friend, and we'll probably see all of them a little bit later today. So Lola's going to finish up eating, and then she's going to head over to the cafe and um, grab something like some coffee to drink because she, as although they do have a coffee machine, she's looking for something uh, sweeter and wow. more complicated. So the coffee... Uh, house is like right down like right outside their building so she's gonna run over there maybe go for a jog and then we'll figure out what else we're doing for her day i think we're gonna go look for a job so lola is in between jobs right now so she probably she needs to get on something because as much as june's parents are paying for the bulk of it they're not paying for any, everything and she needs to be able to put in her 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 portion so we'll head over to the coffee place now. Okay, so we are here at the Jazz and Coffee Cafe. This is a uh, coffee house that I got, or like a build I got off of the gallery because I was not in a building mood. And I love builds that like kind of match the area. So I said it was around the, the corner. It's not, it's in a different area at all together. They're in the Spice District right now, but I think it looks so great. I will put the name of the builder, um, the gallery idea of the builder as well as the name of the build if you guys want to grab it yourselves but i actually really really adore it so we're gonna get in here and we're going to grab something to drink and then maybe just sit down for a bit i don't know if i'll see a lot of the sims that i um i made around here a lot of them live around here actually and i have been seeing them okay we'll grab it to go and um I have been seeing so, so. them, but I just, I definitely want to make more Sims so I can have more people her age hanging out and more people to possibly interact with. So, like I'm out here looking around like, did I make this dude? No, I didn't. But let's see if this works because the coffee things never worked for me. But so Lola had gotten a text earlier from Annabelle that she's having a little like get together party today. And I'm not going to lie. It's Monday. And I thought that was like a crazy thing to do. Like people having parties, getting drunk, doing all that stuff on week weekdays. And I was like, there's no way that's a thing. Until I found out it was. Okay. I I guess I just didn't live that like that crazy lifestyle or 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 what. But I just didn't know that people were out here getting lit on Monday after afternoon. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> no. Well she said she had a text from Lauren. And I'm, I'm going to say it's not for this. I'm going to say that it's for that. He's just like, hey, are you coming to Annabelle's tonight? And she's like, yeah, I'm thinking about it. Like, will you be there? And he's like, you know, of course I'll be there. I mean, if you're going to be there and, you know, she's like, well, I'll just 
I'll see. And then, you know, you'll see me if you see me. And one thing about about Lola, she has that type of personality. She's going to pretend that what the heck? Hold on to go. Let me get my give me my drink. But one thing about Lola is that she didn't pretend that like she is not interested and she does not care. And, um, you know, she's she's doing what she's doing. But honestly, she's doing what he's doing. So, you know, Lauren's going to be there. She's going to be there. Lauren and Lola. That's how she feels. So if they don't, ma'am, Miss Ava, if you don't pop out my drink this time, I'm about to pop you in your head. I hate getting coffee in The Sims. It just never works for me. But, um, and not Judith being here all dressed up. I be talking so crap with so much crap on Judith. Is this for me? I'm about to steal it. Okay. Oh, it was for me. No stealing what's mine. Um, so the thing is that because Lola has nothing else to do today, she's probably going to do this, go for a run and then look for jobs and then just, just wait till the party. Cause, cause she has no other plans. Okay. So Lola just finished her jog. She's going to grab some water and then she's going to hop on the computer and look for her next gig. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm thinking for her. I don't know if I want her to do something kind of freelance. Please don't be bills. Please don't be bills. Please don't be bills. Um, I don't know if I want it to be something kind of freelance or a part-time job, but I, I don't want it. I don't want it to be like something that she's too committed to. Like, I don't think Lola's looking for a career right now. So we'll see what we get when we hop on the computer. I have her browsing the web just for like job offers, job listings to see what like, you know, probably on, um, what is this? Sim, Sim LinkedIn, Sminkton, looking for, <laughs> looking for something. We'll have her look for, like see if she can find a job. And then I'll just look through and see if anything's speaking to me for her. I hate that my life requirement is speaking to me. Like what, what's speaking to me right now? But we'll see if she sees anything. I think that I could see her working in like retail and things like that. Or I would consider her just doing odd jobs, but I don't like that they're all like related to like Sulani most of the time. You have like the occasional like helping someone move or something. But yeah, so detective, I feel like those are none of these are for her at all. I don't know if I see her doing like extra work i could kind of see that like her just be acting as an extra for a little bit just to like get like small gig pay like being that person who walks in the back but nothing like an astronaut or i used to be her being a water person but anything that seems like really applicable for her at her level i don't know if you guys could leave in the comments down below what job do you think i should get for lola and i'll pick it in the next episode like substitute teacher need way too many qualifications for that but, um, and if not, I can always consider like a barista or a fast food employee, et cetera, et cetera. But yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe she'd be a simple influencer. Eh, I can't tell. I don't know. But we'll just have her look for a bit longer. I feel like by the end of this, she would just end up watching uh -huh. like funny videos on the internet. We'll just have her watch funny videos on Sim TV. And this is why she never gets anything done. Did I accidentally pick a job for her? No. Okay. So it is now seven o'clock and we are at Annabelle's house, Annabelle's penthouse for the party. So we just got here. We're out raised out on the balcony and I want to come and give um this is thank for coming because she she's the one who started it. But we're gonna come and give Annabelle a hug and we're like, hey girl, like thank you for inviting us because in all honesty, Lola doesn't know most of the people here. Like she's met them in passing, but she's not close with anyone. But her and Annabelle are um, decently friends, I guess. We call them friends. But why can I not? Hello? Can you please go say hi to her? Hello? I had to check if my game was broken, but yeah. Have her come say hi to Annabelle. So brighten her day. And then maybe it's cause she's talking to people. I can't like give her a hug, but I would love to give her a hug because I think that's what Lola would do. So I'm probably gonna drop all the tea on you guys in the middle. Maybe I should introduce you to everyone first. So let's go person by person. This is Anna Noonan. We're at her house. She's the one throwing this Monday party. And next to Annabelle, we have Malachi Howard. He is um, Marlise's boyfriend, and I think he's gonna cut his locks soon. So we'll see how that looks soon. And next to Malachi, we have Maya Granado. So she's a mutual friend of like everyone. She's super sweet. 
Next to Maya, we have Lauren Devlin, and Lauren is Annabelle's boyfriend and also a friend of Lola's. Behind Lauren, that is Alec Timmons, and his boyfriend is somewhere around. And he actually kind of had a thing for Lola at one point, but that's neither here nor there now. Next to Lauren, we have Sebastian. <laughs> We have Sebastian Witt, and he lives with Marlise and um, her boyfriend, whose name I can't remember right now. But yeah, um, and he's best friends with uh, Marlise's boyfriend. What is her boyfriend's name? Then over here by the fire, we have Marlise Bartlett. So this is Lola's old best friend and old roommate and related to the other people how i have mentioned already so guy whose name i can't remember his boyfriend girlfriend and um sebastian's roommate currently and uh she's at this party because they still share mutual friends even though they fell out across from marlise at the fire is darian ponce so darian is dating alec and his cousin also is here and she is his cousin is Deborah D'Amico, so Deborah's our resident DJ, and she's over here, so everybody calls her Debbie, but that is everyone. I'm currently controlling Deb as well because I don't feel like trying to fuss with her being DJ without me controlling her. But yeah, so everybody's here. Um, I would love if drama happens, but I just don't need nothing crazy to happen, but yeah, hopefully she can start uh, talking it up with her. Hopefully my game doesn't bug out on me. But yeah, so she's really only cordial with about one and a half people here. But I think I want to still, like, take time for her to get to know other people and kind of rub it in like Marlise's face. Like I don't necessarily need to be your friend. I hope you know that I can make friends just fine without you. But yeah, so she's like, hey Annabelle, thank you for inviting me. We haven't talked and hung out in forever. Um, I want her to you know, kind of wave herself around, wave herself around, but like, you know, say hi to everyone else. And she's like, yeah, girl, you've been so scary recently. And she's like, no, it's just, I've been busy. I'm currently like, I got issues with this random girl at my job. And so I just thought it'd be best for me to get a new job, which I mean, she's not necessarily wrong but that's probably not the exact reason. So she just met Maya and I'm so excited. Why I didn't have her meet anyone else ahead of time is because I want her like to see all of her first impressions with everyone. So I'm super excited, but yes, yeah, no one ever just says hi. I always do that. Like people just say hi, they don't talk again. So people are like, hey, like, you know, but Annabelle was like, oh yeah, and these are some of like my other friends. I know you've probably seen them in passing, but you haven't had time to talk. So this is Maya. And then she's like, I think you know Alec, and I think that she's gonna play dumb. Oh my god, I didn't introduce Sasha. This person right here is Sasha. Last name I don't I didn't check right now, but this is Sasha, and I made the video. Um, when I was talking about how to not have same face syndrome and I made Sasha, Sasha so this is Sasha But that's the main stuff. So yeah, so she's probably like, you know, you've probably seen everyone in passing But she's like, I think you know Alec and I think she's gonna joke around but like, um, I might have seen him once or twice So I'll have them do like a funny introduction be like making a joke about it. He's like, yeah, I think I've seen her around not Not her finding him attractive. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not her finding him attractive she didn't be like, yeah, I think I've seen you. I don't know, maybe somewhere. And he was like, hi, you're so funny. You know, you look kind of familiar to me too. He's like, have you met my boyfriend? And he's just like, oh, you have a boyfriend. And he's like, yeah, he's right over there. You know, she's like, feel free to go introduce yourself to him. And then I think she's also gonna try and say hi to well he just said hi to her to lauren oh so lola can't stop laughing that joke lauren just told was way too good not her being geeked <laughs> not her being geeked over he literally says anything yeah does she like jokes of course she likes jokes because lauren's just so freaking funny isn't he but um her, let me look at her wants because when she's talking to Lauren, I'm about to, I'm about to be peeping these wishes and wants. She wants to start a new relationship. 
and she wants to do something flirty and she wants to eat because she's at a festival okay i definitely okay let me just get her saying hi everybody else i think sasha's gonna come in and be like oh maya like you know because oh her and maya live together so they're really good friends um so we came over to tell her something and then she's like oh this is my roommate uh sasha parish that's her last name sasha parish she's like it's my roommate sasha she's like oh hey like nice to meet you she's like oh it's so great to get to know all these people while i'm here and i don't think like when you look over at um yeah i don't have anything like she's not lola's not a mean girl you know considering she has all these other bad traits like she gives off mean girl but she's not she just and when i say mean girl you know she sorry she's not much she's not a good she's not the best person however she's not like me if that makes sense heckle what are we heckling not over here heckling heckling oh oh okay heckling maya i was like we're not over here heckling our literal pro um pro djer i think maya's trying to do oh guys not them oh, not them together making fun of maya okay let's see if lola's gonna come over here but like don't worry like i can tap it i had to wipe, wipe my nose but yeah to be over here like um i can tap it she, but she can't and that's what you get for trying to play in maya's face and trying to be like you're better than her maybe lauren can maybe she's like lauren can you <laughs> ew that's not her voice lauren can you tap the kai <laughs> but she's like maybe darian comes over and darian's like no i got it he's like i can do it can he do it actually oh wait actually cool okay so i think she's gonna be like she's gonna make like a little funny thing towards him but like oh you know you're literally our savior because um if not for you we're not about to get that that keg tapped hold on can you i'm feeling flirty okay he's like oh girl don't worry about it he's like i do this you know and so she's like oh my god i have pictures of me trying to like tap a keg last time i got it everywhere but i thought i learned from my past mistakes which i'm going to show him some pictures and stuff and i seems like their first impressions were pretty good so i'm probably gonna have him talk a little bit and then i kind of want to do a keg stand with someone but she's like oh like what do you like for music she's like i've never like listened to a live dj before she's like actually that's my cousin if you didn't know she's like isn't she so good she's like, but he's like, you know i would say go over and talk to her but debbie gets really focused when she's you know mixing and stuff so and here comes alex so i think she's probably gonna talk to you. um ooh, why does she not feel oh okay she feels some type of way because she unsu unsuccessfully tapped a beer keg so failed tapper um Ooh, Lola tried to tap a keg, but did something wrong, and now beer is everywhere. And so maybe she turns to Alec and makes a self-deprecating joke, like, oh my gosh, you should have seen. She's like, I tried tapping the keg, but I was so bad at it. Oh, and his cousin just stopped. Let me see if I can talk to Debbie as well. I, I don't know, I'm sure I'm going to walk away before I can, but yeah, I'll still play some music. Stereo, turn on. Mm, I'll do R&B, but yeah. And I'll put it on low, just in case. I don't know how loud this is gonna be, but we'll put it on low. But yeah, so he's like, she's like, yeah, I was just listening to some of your music. She's like, you actually, she's like, I've never heard a DJ in like person for real. And she's like, I think it was really, really good. Dang, there were so many drinks. You think Lola's not gonna grab one? Not gonna grab her a little vodka soda, not a little rum and coke. Um, and she's like, oh, thanks, because I don't think that really sp um debbie really liked her their impressions seem pretty pretty trash so oh not okay i think she's peeping too those two over together okay i'm gonna have her run to the bathroom dang okay Mal malachi oh i had to yell it for me to remember it okay malachi like <laughs> making hella drinks but i'm gonna have her yeah, go use the bathroom. This is actually, so I kind of blocked off the rest of the penthouse. But yeah, so they're only on the balcony. And then it they're allowed to go into, this is Annabelle's room. But the rest of it is like, you can't, you can't get in. And I did it so that everyone wouldn't be all over the place. But um, I feel like there's not a lot of drama popping off, which is good. 
Um, but at the same time, also I'm not gonna control Debbie anymore because she's not mixing. Which, let me say, you party drags one, and then okay, let me figure out how to not control her. Oh, it's literally a backflip. That's how you know I don't be playing with that 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 what's that thing called that trait because what why is it literally backflip? But um, hello, can you not use the bathroom properly? Use it. Don't pee yourself. This would be so embarrassing. Okay, let's not use her. Look at her use the bathroom. But yeah, so nothing just pops off and I don't want it to because I'd just be so okay, Malachi. Damn. <laughs> I'd be just a bit too messy. Listen, I'm about to have everybody grab a drink right now because this is way too much. Okay, in the time that I got everyone to grab drinks, Lola's asleep in the tub. I'm about to cheat that up. Or I'm gonna let her sleep and we're gonna, what is going on? I'm gonna let her sleep and then we're going to go and look at all of her first impressions. So she's avoided Marlise and she's avoided Marlise's boyfriend, Malachi. And she's also avoided Sebastian, but I think I'm gonna have her go talk to Sebi, not because she wants to, but because I want her to. But let's see how she um, fared with Deborah. So, um, she thinks Deb is sophisticated, but Deb thinks she's unreliable. So a sim who gives the impression that they can't, um, that they can never stick to one thing, place, job, or person doesn't inspire Deborah to build a friendship. So maybe Deb picked up that like this girl's a little shysty, like she's a little bit sneaky and I don't know, I have a bad vibe about her and I don't want to talk to her. And honestly, I think I really like Deb. I think I'm going to like Deb. I think maybe because she just looks cool. But Lola thinks that Alec is in dreamland, but he thinks Lola's funny. And I don't know what to take, like, to figure out about that. But she, at the end of the day, thinks he's very attractive. So, moving on. And then, her and, okay, so Lola thinks, wait, hold on. Lola thinks Dorian is, I see his name was Darian before. His name is Dorian. So, she thinks Dorian's annoying. Okay, but he thinks she's, she, he thinks she's responsible. She also thinks he's attractive and you know, attractive couples, I guess. And, but they have amazing compatibility. I can see them being friends, but then I don't know because she's kind of had a thing, not a thing, but there was something there between her and Alec way back when. And um, I wanna see where that's gonna go. Okay, so then she met Sasha and Lola thinks that Sasha's reasonable and Sasha thinks she's responsible, so that's cool. I don't know why anyone would think that. And then Maya has straight up bad, oh, straight up bad compatibility with her. And she thinks that Maya's egocentric and Maya thinks she's unreliable. Okay. All right. Okay. Ugh, sorry. This, I'm like, this is about to go places. This, um... Changing the weather because I don't need everybody putting their their winter wear on. But yeah, I think this is about to get to a messy place eventually, and I need her to wake up. Wake the brick up. Okay, maybe she's gonna wake up and then like call someone in, like, hey, like somebody get in here with me. And I think that person is gonna happen to be Sebastian or Lauren. Maybe she's like. <sighs> she's not so subtle about it and she's like oh my gosh lauren like come in here with me like you know and then maybe she's like jokes about it and she invites other people as well so let me control sebastian and maybe sebastian hops in as well as maybe maya Ooh, oh oh okay Okay, get in. I'm gonna cheat up people's people's sleeps. And not her being wake up, girl. Get the hell. Get get the hell up. Okay, is everybody getting in? Hold on. Not everybody getting Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm getting so excited. And look at him sitting next to her. Okay. Let's her make an inside joke or something. Cause I don't want her to Hold on, also say hi to, say hi to, <laughs> I can't even speak. Say hi to Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> Seb, please, please get in. Please get in. Ooh, sorry, I'm no better than a man. No better than a pixelated man. <laughs> and why did I not turn my heater back off? What is going on? I hope you guys can't hear it, cause I'm cold. 
Bro, can she? Okay, hold on, please, 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 everyone, please get back in the tub. Hold on, I want. Oh, is somebody tapping the keg. No, but no, you're ruining everything. No, please, Sebastian, please. I'm about to listen to this in a little bit and lose my mind. Girl, please. He's so. No. <laughs> Not me just grunting and he doesn't like us. <laughs> oh, okay. Lola thinks Sebastian's distant. Okay, but sometimes the best prizes you gotta fight for. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I'm really just Yeah. Like he's he's giving he's giving yes. I think Sebastian's one of my favorite sims I've ever made. But not that you guys could could guess that or anything. Huh. Listen, don't spend your time heckling anybody. I think you should go and talk to- Can you stop? Can you- I hate the Sims. I hate it here. I want her to go and talk to him. Um, let me see if I can like get them to go somewhere separate. Including that she's feeling flirty, ovulating, feeling- Okay, yeah, we're gonna try to get them to go somewhere a little bit more private. <gasps> Stop. Look at them in the hot tub together. Like, where's your girlfriend at, sir? Hmm? Where's your girlfriend at? Yeah, there she is. Let me stop. Oh my god. I need help. No. Oh, no. Not Annabelle coming in and you guys going out at the same time. And she looks like she's feeling flirty too. Or she just, oh, she's just relaxing. Never mind. Okay, what? And Alex dead on the floor. There's 800 things of alcohol everywhere. Damn. Look at all of Lola's tattoos. They're really pretty. <laughs> Not that this is like what I should be focused on right now. But I feel like uh, she's gonna... I don't even know. What is she about to do? I think she's gonna flirt. Let's go on Sim C. No, she's gonna hit like a cute little flirt. Compliment his appearance. Hopefully nobody comes in here. But because I hate that I'm saying that, but I don't need the sim, the sim drama. And not in, be honest, not in, not in their room. Flirt with Sasha? Hello? Do you like women? Since when? Did I not know that? You know, sometimes you just want to be a little flirty, I guess. But I kind of want, hmm, this is, it's not a bit too open, but I kind of want them to like, I don't know. I could see Lola trying to make a little move. I could see Lauren trying to make a little move. Huh. And what does she want? Starting a relationship. The woohoo emoji's throwing me off. But I think I'm gonna have her just do a little sexy pose. That's it. This that's it. That's the that's the little okay. Now you having to pee in the middle because it's not getting cute. But okay. I think that's the content of it. This is feeling really explicit. I don't know why. I think it's the bathing suit and her tatas out, but we're gonna call it quits here because but yeah, I'm gonna have him leave and go try to use the bathroom or whatever, and we're just gonna take her I don't know. Take her, yeah. I see he's gonna use the bathroom. Alright, we're gonna have her I think she's gonna have a smoke. Oh, right before Marlise came. Ooh, should she talk to Marlise? Should she be like, hey Marlise, like long time no see girl oh what am i let me end this episode it's already 4 a.m hold on i can maybe she's just like hey oh marlise is about to pass out maybe she drank too much anyways maybe it wasn't meant to be we'll have her have a cigarette though so if you guys didn't know lola is a smoker um she doesn't she started smoking not too long ago so it's not to the point of like mm -hmm, sorry every time every time <laughs> Are her gonna go find her her do you gonna go find your man is that what's gonna happen what's going on what's she looking at oh <gasps> wait ah! <laughs> i literally had to take a break because it's really giving i'm the main it's really giving like and yo <laughs> i'm at the end of this episode soon because i'm really geeked it's really wow not her smoking her cig and they're really in there what is vlad vlad <laughs> hello oh. <laughs> oh. 
it's it's um no yeah it's definitely time with that to call it quits because i know this episode's about to be long and i do- i've never been this hyped up in this mic and i have no idea what's going to sound now, like but that is so wow it's really it's even wow wow what is vlad doing here anyways thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this episode of Young and or any of my content, I don't know. I don't even know my outro right now. But if you like me, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.